indulgence in anything. Keep everything moderate, just right. Not too tight, not too loose also. Okay, when do I become this Dhyana Yoga Yuktaha? Someone established with Dhyana Yoga. When do I become like that? That is taken up in the next verse. We will see the verse now. Verse number 18. Yada viniyatam chittam Yada viniyatam chittam Atman yevavatishthate Atman yevavatishthate Nispraha sarvaka medhya Nispraha sarvaka medhya Yukta ityuchyate tada together. Yada viniyatam Now, this verse is defining who is a Dhyana Yoga Yuktaha. Who is the one who is established in Dhyana Yoga. Only three steps. Number one. From this OET, withdraw yourself. From the OET, withdraw yourself. Detach. Then what should I do? Absorb in the self. Attach. Then what should I do? Stay there. That is all. This verse is only that. Withdraw from OET, attach to the higher and stay there. Now let's see the word meaning now. Yada viniyatam chittam. When my mind I have controlled. How do I know whether I have controlled my mind? Nispruhaha sarva kame There is no more any longing. What is this longing? When a longing is there in my mind that I'm asking, I'm asking. Then what happens is the number of agitations in my mind is more. When longing is there, Agitation is more. There is storm in my mind. Not only that, till that desired object is attained, I am not able to stop myself. When the longing is high. Suppose I don't get it, the frustration is more. Longing. Okay. Nispruhaha sarva kamedya. Free from longing. Atmani yeva avatishtate. Absorb your mind in the self. Tada yukta iti uchyate. Then you are called a dhyana yoga yuktaha, one establishing meditation. Now, uh, what are you saying? Go away from OET, withdraw from there. Put your mind on self, stay there. Can you give an example? Oh, yes, yes, I will give you an example. That's the next verse. So we will read the next verse, verse number 19. Yata dipo nivatastaha Ningate sopa masrita Yogi no yata chittasya Yunjato yoga matmana Upama Smrita. Ah, I remember this example, this simile. What is it? Yatha Deepaha Nivatastaha Na Ingate. Just as a Deepa, a Deepa protected from the breeze. Here the AC breeze is coming, so it is moving. Right? But supposing I had put a glass on top of it, then what happens? It is protected from breeze. Then will it move? It will not move at all. And what will be happening to it? That flame will just keep going up. Yata deepaha 
Nivatastaha na ingate, just as a lamp protected from breeze does not move at all, the flame does not move at all. Similarly, the mind of a person established in Dhyana Yoga will be. How is it? Now let's just see. This flame which we see, is it just one flame? No. Continuous non-stop fire. And when that fire is coming out continuously, non-stop, then it gives an image that the flame that I see is the same flame. The same flame. Now, if I protect it from wind, what happens is that this flame still looks same in heaven and all when we see because of the wind, different different flames I am seeing. But here one, one only, one flame only, it looks like. And how does the flame go? It always goes up. Always goes up. Protected from wind, goes up only. Same way, our mind. Thoughts. Is it one thought? Many thoughts, like many flames only, fact is, same way, many thoughts. But these many thoughts, because they come in continuous succession, one after the other, fast, they give an image that there is one mind. Now, if I am going to protect my mind from the passing waves of desire, if I am going to protect my mind, then what happens? This mind, which is thoughts, where will it go? Up. It will steadily keep going up and up and up. Keep moving up in contemplation. It will store, soar high in contemplation. That is what is intended to be said in this verse. Okay, so the one, I must protect what? My mind, my thoughts from the passing breeze of desires. Then what will happen? That same mind, those same thoughts, thoughts decide who I am. Those same thoughts are going to keep moving up. Okay. And I will, I will get established in Dhyana Yoga. What because of that? What will I get? Are how many times you will ask what will I get? What will I get? Just now only today some few minutes back, we said that what will you get? What will I get? When Arjuna asked, Bhagavan said, Shantim Adhikachyati. Paramam Shantim. And what Paramam Shantim? Nirvana Paramam Shantim Adhikachyati. Why so many words? Shantim. You will get Shanti. He said, but still Arjuna know that Shanti word, peace, did not, uh, maybe it made no sense to him. Maybe it makes no sense to us. So Bhagavan is going to say, use one more word and say what he gets. And that is verse number 20. Yatro paramate chittam Niruddham yoga sevaya Suppose this water fell down here. There is water here. Yeah? Suppose it fell as I'm trying to drink, huh? I kept it here. And as I was talking, part it fell down here. What will happen to this water? Where will it move? Where will it move? Will it go that side or will it come this side? It will naturally come towards me. Why? Because water flows naturally from a higher level to a lower level. 
do i need any effort to make it come this way naturally it will come but supposing i want this water to go up what should i do i have to put forth some effort without effort it will not go up to go down natural to go up effort my vandi aviator i went on the road suddenly something happened to it i said leave it there and i came away and i didn't bother to pick it up at all what will happen to that vandi that vehicle over a period of time slowly it will start gradually moving way very slow movement but where wherever the slope is going down towards that it will gradually move the slope is up it will not go naturally it will move machine kept unused naturally will deteriorate no effort is required but to keep the machine in working condition i have to put effort maintenance how many annual maintenance contract we put think to keep it in running condition proper maintenance work i must do but to go, go down effortless same way our mind if it has to go down any effort needed not at all needed naturally the movement is out down in one upanishad it is a manufacturer's defect but we will not say manufacturer's defect and all upanishad also does not say like that okay all senses are turned outward why not see with these senses the same lord like how someone says brahma only i am seeing everywhere sarvam brahma mayam why not i see but my mind naturally goes downwards towards name form quality like that if i reflect alone mind goes downwards but if my mind has to go up then what is needed is consistent effort is needed mind to move up we will we can consider ourselves that to an extent i will be able to make it go up if we can develop a little love for the lord a little love for this knowledge because if love is there mind will go to where it loves where love is there it moves so now the lord it will start moving up but effort is needed you have to come for satsang you have to you have to listen to the glories of the lord then you have to be with him spend time with him even with a dog a dog that i bring to my house today if it dies today not much pain but if i spend the time with it what happens without my knowledge night 7 o'clock where is the dog tommy where are you tommy tommy i start looking for it so even for a dog if i spend time only that love comes here is god if i spend time with my dog oh god but on the other hand same effort if i spend time with the lord my gain is infinite no comparison at all so should i spend time with oet spend time with o even with oet if i can get the capacity to see that oh how beautiful till then om spend time there okay yatra uparamate chittam niruddham yoga sevaya when the mind is withdrawn from this objects articles beings and circumstances objects emotions and thoughts how only with effort with continuous practice atmana atmana atmani pashyan i see myself in myself by myself i see self in self by self what is this tenth man story you all will be knowing it but still i will tell it shortly ten people are going 
in a boat. Ten people are going in a boat. Chinmaya Tarangini they visited. Okay? And ten people. They are, we have very good friends there. The fishermen community are our friends there. So the fishermen community also, we spoke to them, they said, yes, yes, yes. So ten people got into the boat. And the fishermen, row, row, row your boat, went in. And then they came back after one hour. Coming back, are we all back safe? So they start counting. One, two, three, nine. Only nine. Eh, tappa count pandra. Na count pandra. One, two, eight, nine. Oh God, one person we have lost. And they start crying. Someone we have lost inside the ocean. Poor thing to whom we, to their parents, what will we say? What will we answer? Very afraid, very sorrowful. They are all sitting. The boatman ties the boat and then comes. Why are you all sitting like this? You were so happy in the boat. Why are you all sitting like this? Wise man, boatman. Ten of us got inside your boat, no? Yes. But now we are only nine. What? Nine? The boatman sees. One, two, nine, ten. All ten are there. How come you are only nine? You are ten. No, see. One, two, eight, nine. You are the ten. Oh, I am ten. Now what happens? Are you your tenth man not gone? Will it still remain? No. What will I answer to their parents? Will it still remain Bhaya? No. The moment I know I am tenth, I see the tenth man and in the tenth man by the tenth man. The moment I see, that is, the moment that knowledge thought has come, that same moment, Tushyati. No time there. Same moment. Tushyati. Tushyati means? Contender. Good. Apada. That is Tushyati. Apada. Ha. Nalila Vala. Contender. Happy. Okay. So that's this verse. Atmana, Atmanam, Atmani Pashyan. Tushyati. Pashyan equal to Tushyati. Seeing equal to being content. Seeing equal to contentment happens immediately. No difference in time at all. So this thought of knowledge is immediately going to remove the sorrow and the fear and all those things. Now, so what are we getting in this verse? In the previous verse, some previous verse, Shantim Adhikachati. Here what are we getting? What will I get? The word used by Bhagavan is Tushtihi Pashyan Tushyati Pashyan Tushyati So contentment. Did the volume go down suddenly? Oh, even I feel so.